welcome to the Summit City, home to the two six O's dedicated high school athletes and fans. Each victory and celebration captured by our camera. Treasure the highlights from the Summit Athletic Conference this season or complete games live or on demand. After all, nobody's more proud to call Fort Wayne home than SummitCitySports.com. I like to stay active. I try to come in here at least three times a week and just get my one hour workout in. Since September, I think I've put on 22 pounds of muscle. I think my vertical has gone up plus five inches. I've gotten a lot faster since then too. I can hit the ball further. In football, I can push people around more. It's basketball easier too. Just being stronger just makes everything easier. Brandon started with Jim Rath's basketball training. After one of the sessions, he came up to me and he wanted to know if he could do more. So Brandon started the EDGE program in November in addition to the club training he was doing because it offers personalized programming for his athletic goals. PSM Performance uses a long-term athletic development pyramid. At such a young age, it's really good for Brandon to set the foundation of athletic development. Since he is in season all year round, he has to be ready for all the physical demands. So he does a lot more strength training just because in basketball he sprints and cuts a lot. In baseball he's doing a lot of sprinting. In football he does a lot of sprinting and jumping. So preparing him to withstand the physical demands of those games, he does a lot more strength training. I like all the lower body stuff the best. I do goblet squats, split squats, back squat, front squat, a lot of those. Tyler knows what's best for me. He always points me in the right direction. He just pushes me to go harder every day. I was once a Southside kid who was led in a journey by high school football. A journey that taught me discipline, toughness, and the skills that made me a success. As a businessman with a CPA license who owns his own firm, I still use the building blocks of high school sports in my everyday life. Someday sports will end no matter what level you reach, but you will be left with the skills to compete in the next game the game of life. Thank you for watching Summit City Sports. To help broaden our coverage, we're asking you to become a monthly sponsor to our Patreon account. We produce weekly highlights and live video broadcast. When the Homestead Girls Golf Team won its first state title in program history, we were there. When Fort Wayne brought back three state titles in cross country, we were there. We believe in sharing positive stories and setting the standard for how high school sports should be covered. Join us and donate today. I just want to be the best in basketball, so I want to be the greatest of all time to play women's basketball. So uh, I just know there's people out there working just as much as me, so I just want to keep working hard and keep that intensity going. And so one day I can pursue my dreams of being in the WNBA and playing overseas. So I just want bigger things to come in my life. I remember when I started in March, she could do zero pull-ups. She did have a great 25-inch vertical when she first started. Uh, she only weighed 150 pounds. Uh, one of our main mottos is do the simple things exceedingly well, and that's where we started. So we started the foundation, um, building her base, and now we've got to basically the peak of our pyramid of things that we can do with her. So uh, we didn't skip any levels, we did all the basics, and she got really, really good at them, and that's what's led her to become as great as she is at, at basketball and performance. I've watched her grow. Uh, the confidence-wise, the strength-wise, the jumping ability, her footwork, it's, it's really amazing to kind of watch for a girl her size, being 6'3", 6'4", to move like she can move and do the thing and be as agile as she is along with the strip. At the University of St. Francis, you'll find everything you need to succeed from business, nursing and science, to the arts, all with a 99% career success rate. You belong here. 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 I belong here. Here at Always 100, we have different things that we provide each week with our elite training, working on things that can help them get a scholarship in the future if they don't have one right now. Watch the skill development, helping kids get better, understanding what it takes to get to the next level. Catching and shooting, working on ball handling, 
In the last five years, we had over 200 kids just able to play basketball at some places from the NAIA, Division Three, Division Two, or Division One level. The athletes has always been here, um, you know, and they're getting better. Um, you know, I'm watching, you know, uh, Summit City Sports, man, they're doing an awesome job. And, I mean, that's a plug. Them dudes are, are doing an outstanding job. And I'm able to be in Nashville and watch games uh, on YouTube um, that they're broadcasting, and I'm seeing the talent. And it is just truly outstanding. And, I mean, you guys have seen uh, the talent that's in the NFL now from Fort Wayne, Indiana, the talent that's coming up now and the talent that, you know, is, 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 is just here, man. It's just it's really, it's really cool. Your kids grow up quick, and there's a lot to teach them. Some lessons they won't pick up in school. Some, they'll learn the hard way. But when it's time to give them the keys to their finances, we'll be there to help with their first checking account and the tools they need to make sense of their money. And even though they're off on their own, you'll be able to check in to see how they're doing. Raising your children is important, and teaching them about money is a big deal. So ProFed makes it easy. Federally insured by the NCUA Equal Housing Lender. In 1952, my father, Jim Kelly, opened his first dealership. Thanks to loyal customers, dedicated employees, community support, and a bit of luck, his business grew. Seventy years later, that dealership has become the Kelly Automotive Group, with 14 brands in three locations, including our new Fort Wayne Auto Mall. Thank you for 70 amazing years. It's been the ride of a lifetime. We hope you join us for the next 70. In four years, this, this could, could be you. you. At the University of St. Francis, you'll find everything you need to succeed, from business, nursing and science, to the arts. You belong here! Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome in Indiana High School soccer fans. SummitCitySports.com coming to you live right here from Shields Field, home of the Bishop Dwanger Saints as they play host to the Summit Athletic Conference player and the Northrop Lady Bruins. It's going to be an outstanding matchup, high quality skill around the pitch on both sides of it. Let's start with the visitors, of course, and the Northrop Bruins, an outstanding squad, one of the best juniors in the Midwest. Lydia Harold, as far as scoring the rock, is outstanding goal scorer is number six. Lydia Harold for Northrop and head coach Jay Gogowski. They come in six and zero oh on the season, and they have talent throughout their roster, and they have youth as well. Uh, they have an outstanding player that transferred from Concordia, senior leader and Serenity Adams that brings another scoring uh, burst that helps balance with Lydia Harold up top. Uh, but they are two speedsters that the defense is extremely hard uh, to deal with against their opponents for Northrop. Looking at uh, the rest of their squad as we'll go through it, Valeria Cruz is the goalkeeper. Number two, Enroy Mon. Number three, Ashley Beachy. Number five, Serenity Adams. Six is Lydia Harold. Eight is my Sayar Chan. Eleven, Ileana Milkovic, a sophomore that's very skilled. Number 15, Shia Siravath, a junior. Number 20, Nadal Ismail, a senior. Uh, number 22, excuse me, number 21, Nuri Carmona, a freshman. She is highly skilled and with the ball at her foot, she is so hard to push off her line on where she wants to go. She's extremely, extremely talented player with the ball on her feet and also assisting the ball. Speaking of assisting, number 22, Sabrina Quintana, the sophomore, just a tremendous player in her own right. Northrop and head coach Jay Glagowski, uh, just like Bishop Dwanger, they have a program that just year in and year out is a team to beat in their class. Northrop being in class 3A, Bishop Dwanger back in their right class, which is the class of 2A. Looking at Northrop's schedule, as I said, 6-0 in the early season. Uh, against DeKalb, New Haven, Norwell, Concordia, Columbia City, which was impressive 5-0 win against Columbia City, 6-0 against Southside, and then here tonight against Dwanger. For the Bishop Dwanger Saints, of course, led by state champ 
and head coach James McCaig won it two years ago in his first year at the school. In at goal is number one, Mary O'Brien, the sophomore. Number two, Carly O'Leary. She is the senior captain. Uh, uh, she's a senior leader for this Bishop Dwinger Saints with her play. Plays a center back role. Will get mixed in with the offense, which is going to be really interesting to see tonight what they, how they kind of play Carly uh, if she chooses to get going up in the offensive attack with the speed of Adams and Harold on the counter. But Carly O'Leary, a outstanding defender uh, and one of the best in the city, no question about it. Number three, a sophomore, Olivia Davis. Number four, a captain, Avery Lado, plays the midfield role and really likes to survey and throw and dictate uh, her te to her teammates. Number six is Christina Str Sherman, a freshman. Number nine is Grace Hine, really an outstanding long boot uh, for Grace Hine. She can really blast it from deep. We've seen it already a couple of times this year. Uh, number 10, Catherine Rowe, the sophomore who's really stepped up her game this year out on the wing. Number eight, literally Harry Bridger, the soft, the senior, which is absolutely a tremendous long shot taker as well. Sophie Sortelet, number 20, the junior. Uh, the junior Sophie started letting the other center back with Carly O'Leary, just a tremendous defender as well as a junior. Number 21 also on the wing, another freshman here for Coach McKay and Samantha Aslagi. Uh, she's wearing number 21, brings some speed to the outside. And number 10, the sophomore Amy Hernandez, usually plays a midfield type or role, can hold the ball up really well and, and an outstanding player in her own right. But this is going to be a great matchup as soon as we saw it on the calendar it had to be brought to you here at summitcitysports.com that golf is on the camera tim atkinson calling your play by play we're excited day uh, back to back nights here at at uh, a high school event as we were at northrop last night as the northrop bruins and the uh, leo lions on the boy side had an outstanding match three two uh, Northrop did win that match uh, over Leo. They went up 3-0, two straight goals for Leo, and that's where it ended. But right here, this is going to be a tremendous match, which is going to go to, I mean, these are the two favorites right here in the Summit Athletic Conference. Whoever wins this game has a stranglehold over the conference. As you look at Dwinger's schedule through the early going, they did get a rain out against Carroll. Uh, but to start it, they did defeat Garrett 9-0. Belmont, that was the two long goals, one from Hind and then Lily Harriburter from deep. And the only goal they gave up was an own goal in that ball game. And then Bishop Lewers, 5-0 win. And then the tie this past Saturday at Warsaw with the late goal on a late penalty. Uh, so that's where we set. We're going to take a short break and get set right now for this outstanding match. SummerCitySports.com. Your kids grow up quick, and there's a lot to teach them. Some lessons they won't pick up in school. Some, they'll learn the hard way. But when it's time to give them the keys to their finances, we'll be there to help. With their first checking account and the tools they need to make sense of their money. And even though they're off on their own, you'll be able to check in to see how they're doing. Raising your children is important, and teaching them about money is a big deal. So ProFed makes it easy. Federally insured by the NCUA Equal Housing Lender. In 1952, my father, Jim Kelly, opened his first dealership. Thanks to loyal customers, dedicated employees, community support, and a bit of luck, his business grew. Seventy years later, that dealership has become the Kelly Automotive Group, with 14 brands in three locations, including our new Fort Wayne Auto Mall. Thank you for 70 amazing years. It's been the ride of a lifetime. We hope you join us for the next 70. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, SummitCitySports.com. It is game time. It is game time here at Shields Field. As we are set, Bishop Dwinger in the all blue. The Northrop Lady Bruins in the all whites with the orange jerseys. As this is SummitCitySports.com, fat golf on the camera. Tim Atkinson calling your play-by-play. And you can follow us on Twitter at 260 Sports. Like and follow our Facebook page, Summit City Sports, and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Yeah, Parkview Sports Medicine, it's game on. We serve every level of athlete with our integrated sports medicine team. 
including the Regents. Only specialized athletic rehab facility. Learn more about our service by logging on to parkviewsportsmedicine.com. Big Eyed Fish have been around the Northeast Indiana area for generations. Like their Facebook pages for updated promotions. Enjoy the best fish in Fort Wayne in a family-friendly environment. The Big Eyed Fish. Kelly Automotive celebrating their 70th year in business. Shop all 14 of their brands at drivekelly.com. So we're set here, folks. Both teams are on the field. Scoreboard is up. 40 minutes up on the board, on the whistle. Dwanger will go left to right on your screen. Northrop right to left. Back-to-back uh, -back nights of Indiana High School Soccer Summit Athletic Conference action right here, as I mentioned. Winner of this match has a stranglehold and has the lead and the most likely candidate to take the SAC title. Head coach Jay Golgowski for Northrop and head coach James McKay for Bishop Dwanger. Both these teams, I and state titles, anything less will be disappointing. Official checking both keepers. And we are ready. This is Indiana High School Soccer. We do play two 40 minute halves. 10-minute halftime as Davis will play a left-footed cross in diagonally to Oslagi. Oslagi can't keep it in. It'll go out for a goal kick. Olivia Davis, the sophomore, has a strong, strong boot, as you saw right there. So we saw an exciting match last night with Northrup on the boys' side, jumping out to that 3-0 lead over Leo. Then Leo battled back. Uh, but we're defeated 3-2. For the Bishop Dwinger boys, we'll have them on the schedule next week. As a throw in for Northrop. It's Carly O'Leary plays it to Sturman, play out wide to Davis. That's a miss hit. There's the freshman. She can service with the best of them. And Harold is one of the quickest as well. And O'Leary not messing around. We'll play it out wide to touch. But that's what you have to do with Lydia Harold, number six. You cannot take any chances. She has another gear, unlike most. And adding the transfer, Serenity Adams from Concordia. You have two of the better scorers in the city. With Lydia probably being the best tops. I don't have the numbers in front of me, but if not the top, it's got to be right there. As that one off the boot of Lado. Avery Lado and Carly O'Leary. Grace Hine, outstanding seniors. And no Megan Guzne out there on the pitch. Of course, it was unfortunate. Evelyn Harkenrider had a third knee injury for the season and is out. Hopefully she could be back for playoff time. Is that high hop? Nicely done by the sophomore, Mary O'Brien. Just learning the position still for head coach James McKegg. You want to give a shout out, of course, athletic director Greg Slee, a second year man here at Bishop Dwinger High School. He's done an outstanding job and that it's going to be a lot of body. O'Leary hit the deck. No calls. Adams will push through. That one played over the top of uh, Sloggy. Here's Harold. Excuse me. <clears throat> Milkovic. A high toss. Catherine Rowe will look to inbound or look to throw it in. Sloggy, good job to shield it out. Northrop possesses. Milk of it, and Hine goes at it. Comes to Adams. Adams centers it. How about that ball? All the way through to Enroy Mon. On the left footed punch out there from Siravath. Out wide is Harold. Sophie Sortelet on the mark. Harold cuts it back. She can shoot it with either foot. Collision there with Lado. Nicely done from Avery Lado, giving up the body. 
And Ishmael will swing and a miss, but she'll play through it. Back to Milkovic. That's the freshman, Nuri Carmona. Looking for Adams on this left wing. O'Leary will play it out to touch. And another throw in coming. I believe this is going to be a Northrop throw. It will, yes, yep. Nearing five minutes into the match. Both these clubs still feeling each other out. Adams, Lado, good drop to O'Leary. O'Leary puts it back up top. And put right back in from Chan. Here's Harold. Good defense as Sturman came to help. Now Hine has a little bit of space. Finds Hernandez. Hernandez, a little bit behind Oslagi, recovers. Punched out of there by Quintana. Grace Hine tiptoes the sideline. Great stuff, the cross, and cleared out of there by Northrup. Five minutes in, scoreless. Rowe, good cross across the face of the 18. Pop back out of there by Northrup. Harold couldn't settle it, Sturman there. And O'Leary will mop it up. Look for Hine, Hine wanted to drop near side to Rowe. They figure it out, back to O'Leary. That one's going to be miss hit out wide. Throw in for the Bruins. Don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, you can join us tomorrow night where we'll be live from six different high schools for some Friday night football under the lights. Good job by uh, Sloggy to keep that in bounds. That'll be a throw in. Or I will be out at the newly renovated Wayne High School. Beautiful new turf out there at Wayne on the south side of town. Uh, outstanding uh, turf. There at Wayne will be my first live look at as they will host the Northrop Bruins. One and one coming off that win against Southside. They're going to be looking to move to two and one under first year head coach Bowen. Off the head of Hine. That yeah, will roll out for another Northrop throw. Milkovic. The easy lay-in, Siravath. She's very crafty with her footwork as O'Leary tried to switch it here. Out to Heriberta. It came to Hernandez. Lays it wide to Heriberta. That's a good ball out wide. Heriberta with some speed into the box. The left-footed cross just behind Hernandez. Lays it up. Tried to find Lado. And a great defensive play and recovery from Carmona. Now the counter for Northrup. Here's Serenity Adams. Adams with a beautiful first touch, but Carly O'Leary was there, and I believe that was last touch by Adams, but did the referee see it? It's the question. Yeah, he did. Good call by the referee. That's O'Leary. I mean, she is definitely D1 capability center back, folks. Maybe move her out in a left back, right back role where she could push up and attack a little bit more uh, at the collegiate level. Seven minutes in. Catherine Rowe, good read. Put it back into the attacking end for Dwanger. Quintana had a dispossessed by Oslagi. Plays it towards Hernandez. Hernandez lays it up. That's her real strength. Heriberta sees wide with Rowe. Rowe, can she get a left-footed cross? Plays it. Oh, good ball. Oslagi. Had a great touch, but Ismail there to take it away. Sturman, the shot, and just heavy over the crossbar. As the freshman taking a peek. From about 30 yards out, why not? As Cruz will take the goal kick, the junior goalkeeper. O'Leary, good touch, Hine. Try to get it up over there to Heriberta. And this is where Lydia Harold is special, folks. That's out and running. 
Adams, how about that touch from Adams? Harrell played it back, was angled enough. Adams, could she cut it back? Not with the Leary on the mark. And May got away with a little bit of a push in the back. But it's going to be a throw in for, for Northrop. Nine minutes in. Got a recovery of the ball. That ball played out, deflected for another throw in for Northrup. As the ball girl was all the way down at this end. The milk of it will get it. And the throw into the box. O'Leary lets it hop. Sordalet cleans it out of there. Aslagi. That one skied. Watch the bend here. And it will roam, roll harmlessly. Let's take a look at that traction athletic performance replay. The ball played in. That was a good touch. Northrop tries to clear it. Sturman keeps it in. And the right footed blast. Oh, just about two, two and a half yards over the top of the crossbar. So we stay one nil. Or excuse me, nil nil. Hine. Turns, surveys up to Hernandez. There's some space here for Dwanger. There has been space on the top. Heriberta comes near side. Rowe crosses into the box. Has Hernandez, but off sides is the call. The AR flag went up immediately. And on replay, it does look like she was about a half yard offside. Good call there from the AR. Two defenders back there for Northrup. That just stepped up last minute. 11 minutes in. Lado. Nope, Carmona. Carmona. Can't find a teammate in Harold. O'Leary. So calm. Finds Heriberta. Tried to leave it to Lado. Heriberta just takes it back. Has a runner on the left wing with Davis. Plays Davis wide. She's got a boot. The shot. Save Cruz. Aslagi there. Shot goal. The freshman puts it in for Dwanger. 1-0. Beautiful play on the buildup as well. Traction AP replay. Take a peek for yourselves. That ball played wide. Let's go right back to it. That ball played wide to Davis. And Davis put it at goal, the deflection. And Aslaki beat the defender there for goal number one. Big goal, obviously, to get on the board first. This is a huge Summit Athletic Conference match, which will loom big to see Will. Who will get the crown? Haraberta. Sloggy with her third goal of the season from Max Preps. Adams, that's going to be too heavy. We'll roll out for a goal kick. Hernandez, beautiful job to hold it up and go wide. Herberta tries to play it back to Hernandez, but it's Loggy there. Battle for the ball, played out by Quintana. This is the most pressed I've seen Northrop in this early season. As Sturman just stepped on the ball. And taken away here, Siravath plays it wide to Adams. Adams a little heavy on the touch. The sophomore row takes it away. The freshman kept it in. Rowe making the run from the right back. Smart play from Milkovic to play it to Cruz. Cruz, nice ball to Adams. Hind peeled back to possess. O'Leary, Oslagi. 
Hine, good settle. Ooh, nearly got that through to Carmona, or, or to Lado, but Carmona there. That's the skill of the footwork that I was talking about. But that did go over the sideline for a Dwenger throw. 14 minutes in. 1-0 Dwenger on tops. Sammy Oslagi with the goal. That's going to go out. Substitution. That's number five, Megan Guzne in up top for Hernandez. Also in number seven, Sydney Walter, a sophomore. The throw in. Rowe. Hine was there, plays it towards the center of the pitch. Guzne. She'll drop it to Sortelet. Sturman, now O'Leary. The ball, Lado swipes it out the wing and just an unlucky touch. Will roll out for a goal kick. Nope, it's gonna be a corner. Opportunity for Dwenger on the corner. Last touch from Northrup. And yeah, well, I believe Rowe is gonna take it. Let's get a good look. Right there from our cameraman, Thad Goff. Here's Rowe, right-footed out swinger. Far post. Hine couldn't go on the end of it. Adams. Hine keeps it in. Try to find Guzne. But there was Chan. But out to touch. It will go for a Dwenger throw. Nope, Northrop throw. Hine keeps it in. Harold takes it away. Off to the races. One on three. Mon is coming on the left wing. Harold takes it towards that far flag. The cross. Oh, my goodness. Lydia Harold set that up all by herself. Uh, Andrew Oman just wide of that post. My goodness. How about attacking the defense? 1v4. Uh, Oslagi will check out in as number 14, the junior Cassidy Court. Restarts wide. Counter, but given right back. Here comes Dwenger again on the move. Heriberta trying to fit it past. All the way to Guzne, couldn't get it through. Beachy. Junior defender, that's going to be out to touch for another Dwinger throw. <laughs> Dwinger three zero and one on this early or on this yeah early season, about midway through though, had a rain out and a late dropout from Cathedral. They sit 3-0 oh, and 1. Northrop at 6 and 0. Oh. Doing her with that 1-1 one, one tied at Warsaw at Warsaw last Saturday morning. Oh, Guzne, good job to let that turn. Ismail came. Lays back here. Alberta, the shot. But right at Cruz. Who saves it? Valeria Cruz. Walter couldn't get on the header. Harold takes on the D once again. O'Leary. 
she has not pushed up at all offensively. Uh, I, you know, that's I'll go with Coach McKeg anyway, but that's definitely what I'd be doing as well. Northrop in Class 3A. Dwanger played the last, uh, last two years in Class 3A after winning the Class 2A style, uh, state title. Easy for me to say. And defended nicely by Dwanger. That was number seven, Sidney Walter. Check it, that was O'Leary as well. Now Ismail. Carmona. And there he couldn't get it through. O'Leary there, calmly. Will survey, now go Sturman. Sturman with the diagonal switch to Heriberta. Will roll out for a Northrop throw in. Good start to the match, near and midway through. Dwanger with a 1-0 lead. That pass back, Cruz. Oh, that's dangerous. Ismail was there. Lado tried to track that down, peeled back. Goes wide, now Sturman. Quintana has been quiet. As Northrup, a lot of defense here in this first half. Possession favors Bishop Dwanger. Hine. Here's Carmona. The freshman plays it to Harold. Harold beats the D and goal. That's what Lydia Harold does. Gets some great service, beats the defense, and puts it in to beat the keeper. 1-1, one, one, Northrop. Just like that, she is that quick, folks. You saw it, you can prepare for it. You can see it, you can watch it on film. But I'm telling you what, the speed is a different level. Watch the early run. The key is she starts her run before the pass is even gone. And then has the skill to go low to beat the keeper. 1-1. One, one. It's exactly what we expected here, folks. One one tie. Guzne laid it to Hine, but out in front too much. The turnover. Lado. Uh, that's gonna be a foul. Oh, nope. Referee about blew the whistle on that. Walter, that's going to be last touch by Dwanger. Northrup throw in. Sturman goes wide. How about this? Heriberta got a touch. Oh! I don't know if that should have been a penalty, yeah? The referee will head over there. I'm not sure what the call is. Was it a foul? I didn't hear the whistle, but Heriberta had the touch. Heriberta had the touch. Let's see if I can find it on replay. Let's go to our traction AP replay. But they're lining up a free kick on that far side. As, yeah, it was. Ah, yes. A little help. As you saw the keeper touch the ball outside the box. So that's a free kick for Dwanger. So not the foul. It was the touch outside the box for Northrop and Valeria Cruz. So it looks like Lado's going to take this free kick. 17 minutes left in the half. Lado, the right footer. Far post and just too heavy. Looking for Hine. It was out for a goal kick. Tremendous first half and start.
Kept in nicely by Cassidy Court. Saves possession. That will roll out. Number 16, Faith Lewis. Into the match for Dwanger. Guzne battles with Bakamulko for Northrup. Lots of contact down there, no calls. Oh, beautiful ball. A just roll pass of Lewis. Now Haraberta. That's Walter making the overrun. Walter can't beat Adams. Adams, yeah, that's going to go out to touch for a Dwanger throw deep in the attacking end. Ball came back to Siravath. Siravath plays it up top, looking for Harold. O'Leary there, volleys it to herself. Beautifully done. Tried to get Guzne out top. And Carmona was there, double team, pushed off the ball. Lewis with the possession. But then it came to Mariana Salinas, who's checked in, the junior, number 24 for Northrop. And that back four. Roberta, good job to shield that on that touch. Centers it, looking for court. Came to Lado. Lado dials up the left-footed shot and blocked. Just under 15 minutes. Here's Harold. And you're better off fouling than letting her get out and run. This is what I'm talking about. She is too quick, folks. The goal is wide. I'm telling you. That's a little bit of speed down there for Northrup. Does the junior. Goal kick coming. Hine, Dwinger, dodged a bullet there. On the counter from Harold. Ismail. And a whistle and a foul on Dwinger. Under 14 minutes. Low line drive ball. Popped up. O'Leary there. Trying to head it out of the box. Finally comes to uh, Grace Hine. Hine skies it. Kept in by Chan. Just over the head of Uncle Mulko. O'Leary got the shield on Harold. And what's going to be the call? I think they're going to get O'Leary with the foul. A little bit too much lean. Uh, but... That's the type of pressure up top that Lydia Harold brings to the opposing defense. Uh, this is going to be a good opportunity for Northrup on this set piece. Right footed in swinger. I believe that's Quintana. Quintana, the shot all the way through the box. Couldn't get on the, on the end. Of any Northrop player, it looked like Nuri Carmona was there. But the Hatter just couldn't connect. 12-15. Right here, if you're doing you just need, you need your quickest, <laughs> quickest players. Is that pressure that Harold puts on the D is, man. 1-1, one, one, we stay under 12 minutes. Left in the first half. SummitCitySports.com. Adams had it hung up. Lado, great job to come back. Advantage play to Dwanger. Guzne, beautiful first touch. Oh, outstanding ball out wide to Haraberta. On the run. Looking for a cross. Cuts it back. Try to get all the way near side to Lewis. Uh, Nuri Carmona. 
Look at that switch to the left boot. But good pressure from Leto. Now up top, Cassidy Court. Good change of direction. Court, can she get across this mile? Well, knock it out for a corner. Doing her with an opportunity on this set piece. It's going to be Catherine Rowe to take it. The sophomore. Right footed out swinger. Five players in the box for Dwanger. Good ball off the head of Lado, and she was absolutely hammered by Cruz. A lot of contact inside the box. Cruz surveys the goal kick, 10 and a half minutes. Hine plays it back. Davis. Davis right away trying to go to Lewis. Davis now will play it in the attacking third. Good one touch. Lado, good leave. Lewis, now to Hine. Good ball to court. Good build up here from Dwanger. Lado, good ball to court. Lado. Grace Hine. Let's it run. Lado. Carmona, she'll play it out. Sordelet plays it back into the attack. Lado, double team. She spins out of it. The little flick to Guzne. Guzne tries to find court out wide. That was deflected and smartly lets it roll out for a throw. Uh, yeah, that was an obvious touch from Northrop. Guzne, the edge of the box. A smile there defensively. Ooh. Gonna be a foul on Dwanger, just under nine minutes. <laughs> Cruz is gonna take this goal kick, or excuse me, the free kick. Free kick coming for Dwanger. We're going to pull it up a little bit. And will Leary will address this free kick. Just under eight minutes. Left in the half. Dwanger got on top first with Sammy Oslagi. Then Lydia Harold. Leary going for goal with Cruz there. O'Leary again. How about this? Haraberto left it to Lado. Lado drags it to the left. That's her shot. Oh, just off the crossbar. Sheesh. That hit the crossbar of the field goal post first, folks. That's why it's whistled a goal kick. <laughs> and Roy Mon back in for Northrop head coach Jay Glogowski. Chess it back in from Faith Lewis. Now Lado. <laughs> oh, 
That's Carmona, folks. Harold. And can't keep that in on this near sideline. Court. Could not keep it in. That does roll out for a throw in. The throw, long throw. Nice job by Catherine Rowe. Quintana got it caught up. Played it back to Milkovic. Cassidy Court, good hustle. Ismail and Guzne go at it. Good no call. High got a touch. Flicked it over to Heriberta. Good hustle by Adams to break that up. And then Quintana will play it up top to Harold O'Leary. Deflected it. Now Harold wants to turn it back the other way. Uh, that's going to be a foul on Catherine Rowe. Oh, excuse me, Faith Lewis. Not a bad foul if you ask me. And if you're a Dwenger fan, you want to break that run up each and every time. You don't want to play dirty, of course. Definitely not saying that. Free kick for Northrop. Headed out. O'Brien off her line and she will grab it. Substitution. Three and a half minutes remaining in the first half. Quintana had that deflected. Davis plays it back up top. That rolled underneath the boot, but Ismail there. Just got under it a bit. And we'll roll out for a Northrup throw, excuse me, a Dwanger throw in. Three minutes. That one deflected. Back in the attacking end, Heriberta, great job, the cross, and Hernandez just high. Heriberta's been so solid on that left wing for Dwanger. Nearly led to another goal with just the straight effort and speed. Goal kick, Valeria Cruz. Carmona looked for Mon, wasn't there. Substitutions. Lado will get a last two minute break. Just under two minutes left in the first half. That ball played back. Neither squad right here. Want to give up a late goal, obviously. As Walter holds it up, plays it back to Davis. Lewis, now Sortelet. Hine has space. Goes wide. Looking for the through ball. Diagonal, not there.
off the back of the head of Hine. That worked out nicely for the Lady Saints. <laughs> but it did come back now to Salinas. Be a Northrup throw in under a minute left in the first half. SummitCitySports.com coming to you live. Bishop Dwinger High School, Shieldsfield. 1-1 one, one game, exactly what we expected coming into tonight with these two outstanding soccer clubs. O'Leary, you just need to play this out. Uh-oh. Harold's going to keep it alive. Plenty of time. The cross and deflect it out. You need to hurry here if you're Northrop. They get a quick ball exchange. Harold needs to put it back in play quickly. That cross comes in. That corner came in. Nothing there. Five seconds. And that's where we will go to break. Folks, don't go anywhere. This is going to be a battle throughout the second half. We're going to take a 10-minute, well, it's going to be a 10-minute break for halftime. We're going to take a six-and-a-half minute. But before we do, let's tell you a little bit about Tom Steel Tire. Service in the Fort Wayne area for over 40 years. They'll help you find the perfect tire for your vehicle and all the repair services like brakes, wheel alignments, engine diagnostics, and more. You're invited to join ProFed Credit Union. We get to know you to better serve you. Sign up in line in five minutes or stop by a branch. Join ProFed today and start owning your financial future at ProFedCU.org. At Outward Contracting, we invest in our customers by providing peace of mind during the entire process from bid to bill. Visit OutwardContracting.com. Summit Volleyball trains and builds the highest quality volleyball players in the area. From ages 5 to 18, our players are equipped with elite level skills and a foundation of life skills. Jump on board. Together we can reach the summit. Anderson Heating and Air Conditions, dedicated to providing the best possible solution for your home or business, a system and solution that fits your unique needs. Visit AndersonCoolHeat.com. Are you ready to do what it takes to put your past behind you? Want to expunge your criminal record or get your driver's license reinstated? Jolly Law Firm's your answer. Sioka Cleaning and Restoration. Providing top-notch commercial cleaning services, including janitorial, water damage, and state-of-the-art disinfectant services throughout Northeast Indiana. Online degree programs at the University of St. Francis are built for convenience and flexibility. Most degrees can com be completed in 12 months. Visit online.sf.edu. Parkview Sports Medicine continues to lead the way in Northeast Indiana. Our spe specialized sports medicine team offers direct access to physical therapy and sports physicians in our new Parkview Ortho Express Clinic located at the Sport One Parkview Fieldhouse. No referral needed. Save any time and money. Visit parkviewsportsmedicine.com. To learn more. Big Eyed Fish has been around the Northeast Indiana area for generations. Like their Facebook pages for updated promotions. Enjoy the best fish in Fort Wayne in a family-friendly environment. Big Eyed Fish. <laughs> Kelly and of celebrating their 70th year in business. Shop all 14 of their brands at drivekelly.com. So that's a halftime break here. 1-1 one, one our score. Bishop Dwinger and Northrop locked in a good one. Six and a half minute break. We'll be right back. SummitCitySports.com. Welcome to the Summit City. Home to the two six O's dedicated high school athletes and fans. Each victory and celebration captured by our camera. Treasure the highlights from the Summit Athletic Conference this season or complete games live or on demand. After all. Nobody's more proud to call Fort Wayne home than SummitCitySports.com. I like to stay active. I try to come in here at least three times a week and just get my one hour workout in. Since September, I think I've put on 22 pounds of muscle. I think my vertical has gone up 
plus five inches. And I've, I've gotten a lot faster since then too. I can hit the ball farther. In football, I can push people around more. It's basketball easier too. Just being stronger just makes everything easier. Brandon started with Jim Rat's basketball training. After one of the sessions, he came up to me and he wanted to know if he could do more. So Brandon started the EDGE program in November. In addition to the club training he was doing because it offers personalized programming for his athletic goals. PSM Performance uses a long-term athletic development pyramid. At such a young age, it's really good for Brandon to set the foundation of athletic development. Since he is in season all year round, he has to be ready for all the physical demands. So he does a lot more strength training just because in basketball he sprints and cuts a lot. In baseball he's doing a lot of sprinting. In football he does a lot of sprinting and jumping. So preparing him to withstand the physical demands of those games, he does a lot more strength training. I like all the lower body stuff the best. I do goblet squats, split squats, back squat, front squat, a lot of those. Tyler knows what's best for me. He always points me in the right direction. He just pushes me to go harder every day. I was once a Southside kid who was led in a journey by high school football. A journey that taught me discipline, toughness, and the skills that made me a success. As a businessman with a CPA license who owns his own firm, I still use the building blocks of high school sports in my everyday life. Someday sports will end no matter what level you reach, but you will be left with the skills to compete in the next game the game of life. Thank you for watching Summit City Sports. To help broaden our coverage, we're asking you to become a monthly sponsor to our Patreon account. We produce weekly highlights and live video broadcast. When the Homestead Girls Golf Team won its first state title in program history, we were there. When Fort Wayne brought back three state titles in cross country, we were there. We believe in sharing positive stories and setting the standard for how high school sports should be covered. Join us and donate today. I just want to be the best in basketball. So I want to be the greatest of all time to play women's basketball. So uh, I just know there's people out there working just as much as me. So I just want to keep working hard and keep that intensity going. And so one day I can pursue my dreams of being in the WNBA and playing overseas. So I just want bigger things to come in my life. I remember when I started in March, she could do zero pull-ups. She did have a great 25-inch vertical when she first started. Uh, she only weighed 150 pounds. Uh, one of our main mottos is do the simple things exceedingly well, and that's where we started. So we started the foundation, um, building her base, and now we've got to basically the peak of our pyramid of things that we can do with her. So uh, we didn't skip any levels, we did all the basics, and she got really, really good at them, and that's what's led her to become as great as she is at, at basketball and performance. I've watched her grow. Uh, the confidence-wise, the strength-wise, the jumping ability, her footwork, it's, it's really amazing to kind of watch for a girl her size, being 6'3", 6'4", to move like she can move and do the thing and be as agile as she is along with the strength. At the University of St. Francis, you'll find everything you need to succeed from business, nursing and science, to the arts all with a 99% career success rate. You belong here. 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 I belong here. Here at Always 100, we have different things that we provide each week with our elite training, working on things that can help them get a scholarship in the future if they don't have one right now. Watching skill development, helping kids get better, understanding what it takes to get to the next level. Catching and shooting, working on ball handling, in the last five years, we had over 200 kids just able to play basketball at some places from the NAIA, Division III, Division II, or Division I level. The athletes has always been here, um, you know, and they're getting better. Um, you know, I'm watching, you know, uh, Summit City Sports, man, they're doing an awesome job. And, I mean, that's a plug. Them dudes are, are doing an outstanding job. And I'm able to be in Nashville and watch games uh, on YouTube um, that they're broadcasting, and I'm seeing the talent. And it is just truly outstanding. And, I mean, you guys have seen uh, the talent that's in the NFL now from Fort Wayne, Indiana, the talent that's coming up now and the talent that, you know, is, 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 is just here, man. It's just it's really, it's really cool. Your kids grow up quick, and there's a lot to teach them. Some lessons they won't pick up in school. Some, they'll learn the hard way. But when it's time to give them the keys to their finances, we'll be there to help. With their first checking account 
and the tools they need to make sense of their money. And even though they're off on their own, you'll be able to check in to see how they're doing. Raising your children is important, and teaching them about money is a big deal. So ProFed makes it easy. Federally insured by the NCUA, Equal Housing Lender. In 1952, my father, Jim Kelly, opened his first dealership. Thanks to loyal customers, dedicated employees, community support, and a bit of luck, his business grew. Seventy years later, that dealership has become the Kelly Automotive Group, with 14 brands in three locations, including our new Fort Wayne Auto Mall. Thank you for 70 amazing years. It's been the ride of a lifetime. We hope you join us for the next 70. In four years, this, this could be you. you! At the University of St. Francis, you'll find everything you need to succeed, from business, nursing and science, to the arts. You belong here! Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. SummitCitySports.com coming to you live right here from Shields Field. Bishop Dwanger High School got a great one. <coughs> excuse me, in the Summit Athletic Conference. One, one is our count. Dwanger got on the board first. Northrup fouled it up with a later goal. We set one, one. Dwanger and Northrup locked in an outstanding battle. And it is gonna continue here tonight. It will be Northrup's possession to start it. As your boy to here needs to set the mic down here momentarily, shut the air conditioning off up here. A little chilly. We're back, ladies and gentlemen, and second half is upon us. <clears throat> Northrop will have possession to start it. Don't forget to join us for our Friday night football coverage tomorrow night all around the city and the area. Bishop Dwanger will host Southside. That golf will be on the call for that one. I'll be out at Wayne as Wayne will host the Northrop Bruins. These same Northrop Bruins. Looks like Guzneg getting the start here in the second half. Up top in the center of that attack. Good opportunity early here for Dwanger. Minute in, they'll get a throw in in the attacking third. Oh, somehow split the D. How about that footwork? The cross deflected. Nice job by Catherine Rowe. Well, that's going to be a foul on Dwanger. Blue, of course. That one will roll out for a throw in. Northrop in the white with the orange number. Switch to the far side by Hera Burr to look for Aslagi, but a handball, I believe, is that just unlucky rolled up. <laughs> a 
That ball's blasted. Adams was looking there, and that's going to be a foul. The ex arms got extended. And as soon as that happened, a whistle immediately. Free kick for Northrop. Good opportunity early in the half. That ball played, a missile into the box off of Lado. Still deflected, then Hine will clean it out near side. Played back to Lado, surveys, wants to come near. And that one too far out in front. Will be a throw in for Northrop. Battle for the ball, Guzne wins that one. Tries to set off towards the freshman, Oslaki. Out towards that corner flag, it will roll out for a throw for Dwanger. Ball near sides. Hera Burt is going to get to it. Kept it in. The shot from Sturman and goes wide of that far post. And another whistle, too much contact. Five minutes into the second half. SummitCitySports.com, thank you for joining us. That golf on the camera. Tim Atkinson calling your play-by-play. -play. We'll have both these schools live next week as well. As we're gonna bring in another broadcast group. I got Another pair scheduled for next week. So we're, I believe right now we're going to get five soccer matches live next week. And we hope to do that throughout the remainder of the season. So stay tuned. We'll continue to expand our coverage. On this left wing. Across. Guzne couldn't get to it. Headed up, Aslagi with the header. Collision, and that will roll out for a corner kick. And a whistle. Mona turns, surveys, has it deflected out wide. Cruz off her line, plays it off. A Herberta, can she center it? The keeper out of her box. And smartly played out by Salinas to break up the attack. That could have been dangerous. For Northrup. Lado lays it, Herberta looking for a cross. All the way through the top of the box, here's Sturman, wide open shot, and Cruz is there for the save. Bouncing ball. And nothing. Seven and a half minutes into the second half. Lado takes it away. Oh, 
Out. Wide. Eight minutes left. Or excuse me, eight minutes in. Free kick coming for Dwanger. O'Leary surveys. It's the right foot. And a whistle right as she was striking it. Not sure what the, we're gonna do, have a redo. Ball come in, and that one skied and out for a goal kick. <laughs> Sirens out here in the corner of Clinton and Washington Center. As that rolls out, Dwenger stays on the attack. AR has a flag up, I'm not sure what for. Oh boy, Dad. Produ production truck is just spinning on me. <laughs> it won't even stop, I can't do anything, it's just got that spinning wheel. Looking out wide. Under 30 minutes left in the match. Left footed in swinger, three person wall for Northrup. Dwanger, let's see what they can do on this set piece. Left footed, at goal, that went up the post. Nearly went in off the post. That was number seven, Sydney Walter, the sophomore. Eleven minutes in. Here's Harold out on the loose. Ismail plays it wide. Aslagi there. Try to cut it back to find Grace High. That will be deflected out for a throw in. Not sure. Had a little issue here with the connection. Seems to be all right now. Hopefully. <laughs> Just never know sometimes. Let me fix up the clock and everything. They sync back up with the scoreboard. Just nearing 27 minutes left in the match. We're tied up 1-1. One, one. Substitution for Northrup. That's Beachy back in. Somebody's got a flash over here near side. 13 minutes into the second. 1-1. One, one. Goal kick coming for Valeria Cruz. Guzne, Haraberta, Beachy there, Haraberta, can she get across? But uh, Valeria Cruz is there for the snag. Oh, 
14 minutes in. Beachy looking to throw it. Guzne, great job to dispossess. Here comes Hine. Guzne, nice job to hold that up. Looking for Faith Lewis. And cleared out to touch by Northrup. And a corner kick here for Twanger. They've been on the attack here in this second half through near about the first 15 minutes of it. Uh, see if they can capitalize on a set piece here with the right-footed outswinger. Good ball, center of the box. Hine, goal! Are you serious? Grace Hine placed it off the volley, the one touch. Insane! What a goal! From Grace Hine, 2-1. Oh, whoa, what happened? Is that not a goal? Let me look at it again. On the corner that came in. Oh, was it offsides? On who? There was no... No argument. Huh. Could have been offsides because Hine was on this far side. Hmm. Let's see if I can find out. Here's Lado holding off the defender. Good cross. Heriberta. Oh, that's got to be a penalty. It is. Beautiful job. Heriberta stayed on the attack, taking a nice through ball. From Lado, and that's going to be a PK, folks. Dwanger, huge opportunity. It will be Lado. She set it up and then found Haraberta, who picked up the PK. Now it will be Lado. Lado with the right. On with Cruz. On the whistle, backs the players out of the box. Seventeen minutes in. Avery Lado, goal! Avery Lado puts it on the board. One, two. One now for Dwanger. On the PK for Lado. The Grace Hind goal was wiped away. Heriberta put the pressure on with Lado on this left side. It led to the PK. And Lado calmly puts it into the back of the net. So Dwanger back up now. 2-1 our score. Sermon. Under 22 minutes. Came back, can it get to Lado? No. Nope. <clears throat> Sturman plays it up, looking for Guzne. That went awkwardly off Quintana. Ismail tried to play it wide. Faith Lewis plays a ball deflected. Takes a nice Dwenger hop, laid it towards Guzne. And we have a player down for Northrup. Right outside the box. Couldn't see who that was. I believe that, yeah, it's the Milkovic for Northrup. <laughs> it's 
nice hand from the crowd. And she is up. Clock did stop at 2108. Let's go ahead and fix that for you. What a match we've seen here thus far. Exactly what we expected between these two highly skilled squads. Uh, Northrop, see if they boot it back to Dwanger. Clock will restart on the whistle. Yeah, he wants the clock to roll now. And he will drop it to Cruz, and Cruz will blast it back out. Hi, need it back in. Dwanger has momentum right now and fresh legs. They've had the more substitutions, which is a obvious advantage in the game of soccer with the running clock, no timeouts and such. Harold needs it. O'Leary there. Still with it, Harold and O'Brien with the save, but did carry out over the end line. And that's all right. Worry about the ball, who cares if you take it over? As it will be just under 20 and a half minutes left. Northrup with the corner. That's gonna be Siravath. Right, left-footed outswinger. Near post. Try to flick it in, laid up, clears it. That will roll out for a Northrop throw in. Midway through the second half. Uh, SummitCitySports.com. Follow us on Twitter at 260 Sports. Like and follow our Facebook page, Summit City Sports, and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hit that notification bell. You'll be notified of all of our live events as they do happen. As that one bounced high over the head of O'Brien. And that's part of the learning curve as a new goalkeeper is just the bounce. As you see, the senior leader, Carly O'Leary, giving some words of encouragement to O'Brien. As O'Brien doing a nice job as the referee is going to come have a word. A little bit of pushing down there. Near 19 minutes left in the match. Left footed out swinger. And that one was touched, I believe, by Northrup. Comes all the way near side for a throw in. It was, yep. Dwanger with the throw. Substitutions. For Dwanger. Walter with the throw. Check it, that's Davis. Olivia Davis with the long throw. Takes a nice Dwinger bounce. Hernandez got to it. Beachy, good job to peel it back, but couldn't find her teammate. It will be a throw in for Dwinger. Davis looking for another one. Hernandez drops it to Lado. Hernandez, Lewis, court on the run, just off the toe, and Ismail will let it roll back to Valeria Cruz, who scoops it up. Pass it out towards midfield. O'Leary will let that roll out for a Dwanger throw. Headed back, out. Court plays the ball, Faith Lewis on the run, the shot, goal! Dwanger with a little bit of cushion on the beautiful through ball from Court. 
to Foul Faith. Lewis goal number three of the match for Dwenger. What a pass and ran right on it. Did Faith Lewis for the goal. Traction AP replay. Look at this give and go. Hernandez, it wasn't her. It was Lewis on the run and the goal. Outstanding job by Dwanger. Oh, the clock wasn't stopped on that goal. Lost about 30 seconds. 3-1 though, Dwanger in control. Winner of this match will have a stranglehold as the two favorites to win the SAC. Whoever gets this head to head is gonna be huge. But what an insurance goal for Dwanger. The little bit of comfort going up by two goals. And that's going to be a foul on Lato. It will be Siravath. With the left foot. At goal. And just wide. O'Brien will let it hop out. And the ball played out by O'Leary. Under 15 minutes remaining. It's a statement win for Dwanger if they can close this out. Out to Hernandez. Couldn't get to it. Hine does, but played out to touch. And substitution for Northrup. A smell. That one was deflected by Rowe. Staying busy on that right wing. That's the name of the game. Staying active, being busy. Leads to good things. Lado couldn't get to it. It rolls to midfield. Harold. Adams has been quiet in this match. Throw in for Northrup. And that's going to roll out for a goal kick, I believe. Oh, they're going to give a corner to Northrup. May have been a little bit of a break for Northrup as they'll look for this corner. Nearing 13 minutes left. Down two goals. Northrup with the left footed in swinger. Needs something here. Farpo set it out by O'Leary. Took a push in the back too. The shot blocked. Cassidy Court. 1v1 here with Siravath. Siravath wins that one, plays it wide. Okamoko drops it. Quintana, good pressure up top by Hernandez. Salinas, a little heavy on the touch, and that'll be played out in the turnover to go back to Dwanger with the throw in. Olivia Davis will hop up for the throw, and the long throw. Lewis, the shot, and that one skied. Out for a goal kick. Nearing 12 minutes left. Oh, 
Cruz. Dwinger has done an extremely well job with keeping Harold surrounded by defenders in this second half. She broke out a couple of times in the first half, only led to the one goal, but as O'Leary battles with Adams, we got a foul? Oh, we got a foul here. Will be a free kick. Shia Saravath, the junior, with the left foot. The shot near post, and O'Brien bats it away. Oh, no penalty? I was going to say, it had to be a foul, a little kick. <laughs> you know, trying to effort to get a piece of the ball, but you got O'Brien. Good job by O'Brien to knock that one down off the parry. Under 11 minutes. O'Leary with the goal kick. Hernandez to court. Try to get it back to Hernandez. Here's Hine with a lot of space. Just heavy on that touch. Lewis to Hine. Great job by Grace Hine. Kept in on that right side by Catherine Rowe. Out to touch for a Northrup throw. Ten minutes left in the match. Dwanger in control, up 3-1. Servath to Harold. Harold turns, has Adams up in front. Tried to turn the corner. Sophie Sortelet with a good defensive play. Finds court, drops it to Davis. Davis will center it, looking to... Lewis, Lewis got a touch. Good step up though from Milkovic. Lado, looking for Hernandez, got a touch. Ismail defensively cleans it up. How about Faith Lewis? Hernandez is a good shield on the dummy. Trickles all the way out to Davis. Davis can rip a shot from deep. She's got a strong boot. O'Leary heads it back to break up the attack. Out for a throw in for Northrop. It looked like it was off the Northrop head. Nope, they're changing it. And now substitution awaits for Dwanger. As Herberta will check in and move up on that right attack. Faith Lewis will drop back defensively. Nicely done from Herberta. Still on the loose. The right footed cross. That one cleared out. Uh oh, Lado. The left footed shot. And wide. Stays 3 1. Guzne checks in for Hernandez. Lewis. Adams on the move. Faith Lewis has been tremendous here tonight, folks. The diagonal cross, look at court, and just over her head. Great vision, though, from Lewis. Nearing seven minutes. Dwinger on top, 3-1. Sammy Oslagi got on the board first for Dwinger. 1-0 off a of Davis, Olivia Davis shot, deflected. 
And the freshman beat the keeper. Second goal was from Lydia Harold for Northrop to tie it up 1-1. On an outstanding through ball from Carmona to find Harold. Goal number two was a PK goal from Avery Lado. That foul as Lily Heriberta was fouled inside the box for goal number two for Dwenger was Lado. And then the third goal by Faith Lewis on a tremendous through ball from Cassidy Court to set up Lewis who beat the keeper to make it 3-1. Six and a half minutes were under. Remember if the leading team under five minutes, subs. The clock is stopped per IHSA rule. Oh, beautiful footwork. The shot and can't find the netting. Out for a goal kick. Dwenger will kill some time here. Goal kick. O'Leary will take it. Near side, looking for Cassidy Court. That one flicked out by Northrup. And it will go out for a Dwenger throw. And substitutions now for Bishop Dwenger. It looks like Adams cramping up here on this near side. And the referee has not signaled for a clock stoppage. Five minutes, and he will stop it now. The 5.04 left in the match. Adams getting stretched out on this near side. And both teams will huddle up. Clock stop, 5.04 left in the match. Adams on this near side and stretched out. But running out of time is Northrup. And she's helped off the field, or helped off, I should say, and then will head off under her own power. Just cramping up there as Adams. Immediately went to stretching out. 5.04 left in the match. Throw in for Dwanger. Clock will be restarted on the whistle. Referee all the way on that far sideline talking to head coach James McKegg now for Dwanger. Now he's having a word with, I believe, the athletic trainer. Not sure what the issue is here. Unless maybe somebody has blood on their jersey or. Not really sure, to be honest with you. Quite the delay here. Not understanding what's going on as the referee talking to somebody over there at midfield, just off to the sideline. Not really sure unless there's a clock issue that they want to get synced up with. I believe that's what it is. Uh, but I mean, this isn't the NFL. We don't have we don't have <laughs> communication to this field here. So I think that's what the issue is, though. But he's uh, the clock operator stopped it right when the referee asked him to stop it.
532, so they want 28 more seconds on the clock. All right. So 532. Left in this match. Throw in for Dwanger. And clock is rolling now. Throw into Lado. Lado back heels it to Guzne. Guzne couldn't keep it in. Quick throw in. Lado there flicks it back out towards midfield. Quintana, but they can't find a teammate on this near side. Guzne drops it. Walter on Sloggy. Tried to find Oslagi. Harold couldn't get a touch of it to get it out in space. Comes now to Lado. Lado still on the move. Corner comes in, and that's not a directed pass. So no pass back foul. Harold. As uh, Sortelet does the job, exactly what you're supposed to do. Just flick, uh, punch it out of bounds. When Harold's on the move, 4.15, we're nearing. Left in the match. SummitCitySports.com. Tim Atkinson here calling your play-by-play. Harold and Sortelet battling, two juniors. And not enough there from O'Leary. And that will roll out for a Northrop throw in. Under four minutes left. Carmona wanted to throw in, got it to her. And deflected. Doing her throw. And that'll be shielded out for a throw in for Dwanger. Sloggy kept it in, found Guzne, uh, then played out by Carmona. It'll be a throw in for Northrup. Dwanger can take their time a little bit here. Substitutions as the clock will be stopped on the substitution with the leading team subbing. That is to prevent stalling on a substitution late in games. Clock will be restarted on the official whistle. Walter. Under three minutes. Out to touch. Doing her throw in again. What a win this will be for Dwanger to move to 4-0-1. Northrop will drop to 6-1. Their boys team still undefeated as they won last night, moving to 7-0. Well, right now, I'm telling you what, Dwanger is playing an outstanding game. Had Harold break away for that one goal. Other than that, the defense has been solid. The game plan's been strong, and the execution Good ball to Siravath. Lado just aggressively went and got it, but a handball, they're going to say, on Lado under two minutes. Siravath with the left foot. Play to the box. Was she offsides? No. Carmona was not offsides, says the AR. Harold plays it wide. And O'Leary will punch it up for a throw in. Minute and a half left. Up by two. Fifty-fifty ball. 
Twanger, great hustle between Oslaki and Davis to get possession back. It rolled to Hernandez. Hernandez switches it. Beautiful. Heriberta with possession. Still with possession. She's going to carry it a little further. Hernandez. A wide Davis. Davis with the shot. And Cruz with the save. We're under a minute. <laughs> Harold settles it, wants to turn on Hine. Hine got a piece of it. Now played back out near side. Out to touch. Hernandez. 20 seconds we're nearing. That one deflected. Lado heads it near side. Pulled out of there by Carmona. 10 seconds left. That is your final, ladies and gentlemen. Dwenger wins it 3-1 over Northrop here at home to give the Bruins their first loss of the season. Outstanding ball game we saw here tonight as Dwenger now in control of the Summit Athletic Conference as they move to 4-0-1. Northrop drops to 6-1. So it's been a long night here at Shields Field. Make sure you join us tomorrow night for some football action under the lights. Until then. For Thad Golf, I am Tim Atkinson. You've been watching Indiana High School Soccer right here from SummitCitySports.com. Welcome to the Summit City, home to the two six O's dedicated high school athletes and fans. Each victory and celebration captured by our camera. Treasure the highlights from the Summit Athletic Conference this season or complete games live or on demand. After all, nobody's more proud to call Fort Wayne home than SummitCitySports.com. I like to stay active. I try to come in here at least three times a week and just get my one hour workout in. Since September, I think I've put on 22 pounds of muscle. I think my vertical has gone up plus five inches. I've gotten a lot faster since then too. I can hit the ball further. In football I can push people around more. It's basketball easier too. Just being stronger just makes everything easier. Brandon started with Jim Rath's basketball training. After one of the sessions he came up to me and he wanted to know if he could do more. So Brandon started the EDGE program in November in addition to the club training he was doing because it offers personalized programming for his athletic goals. PSM Performance uses a long-term athletic development pyramid. At such a young age, it's really good for 